bulge on the side. Whoops, too late. Better hit the deck, boys. Perhaps, but there is little time these days for industry to cry over spilt milk. Instead, the search goes on for the better, faster, more economical way. In this double-deck tooling dock, a P-47 gets a comprehensive survey of all contour surfaces. The center line of the plane is the master reference line from which coordinates check barrel roll in the fuselage, alignment of fin and rudder, the complete tail assembly. Geometrical relationship of wing sweep back to center line of the airframe is determined. Deflection of wings under static load measured. Any point from end to end, from wingtip to wingtip, from top to bottom, can be checked with an accuracy heretofore unknown. Where it is necessary to take sights from above and underneath, double-deck tooling bar systems can be readily set up. The lower deck is built up from a master reference line, as previously described. Line scopes beyond the ends of the tooling bar establish the end of the rectangle. These reference lines provide the control for the optical squares when moving along the bars. The squares are used to establish the side bars. To establish the upper deck system, an optical square is moved to one corner of the lower deck and the telescope is pointed straight up. An optical square on the upper deck is sighted straight downward through its hollow spindle into the lower telescope. With these two telescopes sighted on each other, the upper square is set directly over the lower one. The lower square is sighted into its line scope and clamped. The upper square is now moved to the other end of its bar, and the two telescopes again pointed toward each other. This line of sight, parallel to the lower bar, is used to establish the upper bar. The upper and lower bars are now parallel. Having established one tooling bar on the upper deck, the remaining upper bars are set at right angles. Line scopes set beyond these bars will maintain these reference lines for subsequent movements. The upper and lower reference lines are in each case parallel, and sights can be taken from either level. The double-deck system carries out the theory of coordinate measurement to its ultimate end, the positive analysis of the entire area within the bars. It is especially valuable on a type of structure where shots must be taken from many angles, both above and below, to provide a thorough check of an entire configuration. Commercial planes may be checked for original accuracy after periodic overhaul. Because many fine engineering minds in the aircraft industry have been responsible for a great part of the development of optical tooling, there is an inclination to overlook the application of this science to other fields. Optical tooling provides industry in general with one, basic instruments capable of extreme accuracy and possessing the amazing quality of being able to prove themselves right on the job. Two, Accurate alignment, positive positioning, and precise measurement of distances, great or small. Three, the ability to lay out irregular shapes, 
the checking of contours in any position by coordinate measurements. Fourth, great utility and flexibility, resulting in substantial savings of man hours and the elimination of rejects. Five, the instruments themselves represent the highest standard of craftsmanship, employ the finest optics obtainable, achieve and maintain unsurpassed accuracy for a lifetime of service.